This is an example of component totals. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the x and y totals when we have 10 meters per second at 60 degrees, so 10 meters per second at 60 degrees, and 20 meters per second at 135 degrees. So here's the 20 meters per second. And how we know, so for the 135, we got the the axis, the x-axis. We start here and we go around to 90, and then we go all the way down to 135, and that's where we know to put our our line here, the 20 meters per second. So the next thing we need to do is we need to calculate the x and y component of each one of these. So let's do these one at a time. And to find the x component, we're going to use cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Rearrange it so we got hypotenuse times cosine. And so we got 10 meters per second times cosine of 60 equals 5 meters per second. So this red dashed line is 5 meters per second. We'll do the same thing for this one right there. And so we got um, the adjacent, this line right here, equals hypotenuse, which is 20 meters per second times a cosine of 135. You put it, that into your calculator, you get negative 14.1. And this negative means it's in the left direction, going left or going west. And the next thing to do is to calculate the y components. And we're going to use the sine function opposite over hypotenuse. So we got our hypotenuse right here, 10 meters per second, and our sine of 60, so 8.66 is our green dashed line right here. Now we have to get, calculate the other one, so 20 meters per second times the sine of 135 equals 14.1, and you notice they're both positive, so they're going in the upwards direction. Now the next thing we're going to do is to calculate the x total. So we're going to add 5 meters per second plus negative 14. And when you do that, you get negative 9.1 meters per second. And so if we draw that out, and the negative, remember, is going left. And we're going to do the same thing with the y totals. 8.66 plus 14 gives us 22.8 meters per second. And what we're going to do is we've drawn these, and we're going to draw the tip to the tail. Now the next thing is to calculate the distance right here. And what we're going to use is Pythagoras. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And we're going to rearrange it so or, or to isolate the C length. And so we've got the square root of A squared plus B squared. And we put that into our calculator and we'll get 24.5 meters per second. And if we draw that in, and I put 25 meters per second here is because of significant figures. We got um, two sig figs here, two, two, and three. So our lowest is two. So that's why I have uh, two sig figs. Now the next thing to do is to calculate this angle. What is this angle? And there's a couple different ways you can do this. And we're going to use the tan function. And tan equals opposite over adjacent. So there's the opposite is 9.1 9 meters per second and adjacent is 22.8 and to get the angle is 22 west of north and just to show you how to calculate this with your calculator I'm just going to bring our calculator in here so we got 9.1 negative divided by 22.8 equals then we're going to, I don't see tan inverse, so what we need to do is you need to figure out your calculator and right here on this one, there it is right there, 21.75, which works out to 22. And what it is, to figure this out west of north and what that means is you start, you go actually go backwards. So you go north, so you're going up north, and then you're going to push west, and how much are you going to push west? You're going to push 22 degrees. And that's what this angle is, 22 degrees. Or it's 112 degrees. You've got 90 plus 22 is 112. 